time. Did you see that uh, the P Diddy uh, tape? Yes, I did. He he is he is clearly that the guy. biggest asshole. On the- Big up. When do you sleep, man? Smiley face. <laughs> Yo, we don't we don't sleep, bro. We keep on going, bro. We session it up. You get me? We got we had a little bit of uh, you know, we might have had some of that white powder mixed into that fucking drink right there. We don't fucking sleep, brother. We don't sleep. Big up Lewis. Big up Lewis Webster. I appreciate you, brother. Sleep. Sleep is for the dead. And also, like I keep telling you guys, I'm trying to get myself out of the fucking poverty. Out of the I'm trying to get myself out of the grip of poverty. I'm trying to as- ascend to the heights of fucking upper class. I'm trying to become like the black Richie Sunak, right? I want to I wanna do a bit of, you know, a little bit of inside trading, some scamming, some fucking white collar crime, whatever it may be. That's what I'm trying to do out here. So that's why we're out. That's why we're out and about. You feel me? We're trying to escape the grips of fucking poverty. And we do that one stream at a fucking time. So if you want to help me escape out of the grip of poverty, like the fucking stream. If you want to see a nigger win, if you want to see a <laughs> a strong black man come through <laughs> and conquer all, like the stream. Okay? Thank you. Big up Lewis Webster. A planet. Bad guy. What a bad guy. And did you see his apology video? No. No, oh, it's bad. Not I like yet. his acting better and get him to the Greek. Hey, Brianna, don't knock it until you try. Brianna, don't knock it until you try, my friend. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see this. You want to see the apology first? Or good you want to see the video first? I want to see. I saw that video. I don't like seeing that shit. All right. I don't, the I don't apology video, but it. also the, before that. you get the apology video, he goes, you know, I've been going to therapy. My my thing is, it's like that tape. And remember, that's in a public space. Yeah. So if he did that that one time and got caught. Correct. And he's notoriously known for this, apparently. And Cassidy came out and said this other the. The, the ex-girlfriend who died, mysteriously died, said he was abusive, all this crazy shit. Of course, he's got a pattern. And then, yeah. This like, isn't the ice no. By the way, look at them. He's got a pattern. Br- Brian, oh, look at Brian trying to project. Brian, you also have a pattern. You have a pattern of saying some... Di- Do we have that clip of Whitney Cummings saying that shit about Brian Cannon? Whitney Cummings. Let's see if we got that clip. Whitney Cummings, Brian Callen. What's the thing she said? There we go. I think that might be it. Exposed himself. Let's see this clip. This might be the clip. Oh, it's gone. Uh, okay, bear me one second. Let me let me search for it. I'm sure I can find it. I'm sure I can quickly find it. Bear with me. But we know already what Whitney said about this guy. Whitney Cummings. Watch, let's see this. Uh, bear with me. Bear with me. There we go. There we go. We found it. We found it already straight away. That was fucking quick, wasn't it? We got the fucking search. We got this fucking fight and the kids subbed it. Love you fucking guys. Let's fucking jump on there and show you all Guan. You have also a fucking a pattern of be weird behavior, Mr. Brian Cannon. Look at this clip. Look at this fucking clip. Look at this. At 7.30 and you're like, can I get a ride in my car? And I was like, sure. <laughs> and you got in the car and I literally like turned the wheel like to like look where I was going and I turned around and your dick was out. <laughs> hey. The old peekaboo hey, dick. Call me old peekaboo But it was so weird. No news. Because it no. Was, was it like, hard? Was it was just no, it was not hard, which now that I look back, I'm super insulted. You were, you were impressed with my piece, though, I think. No, you have an impressive what piece. What did you say? Were you like, hey, uh, man? No, I think I screamed and then just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think, uh, and then I, I laughed I hysterically. I don't remember that. I do remember... That they- of course you don't remember that. Of course you don't remember that. Why would you want to remember that? That's basically sexual assault, man. That's basically sexual harassment. I don't remember that. Yeah, good thing you don't remember it. Good thing she does. Definitely happened. We did kind of... Yeah. We did kind we of... We made up. out one time, but in like yeah. a laughing way. Yes. 
like I couldn't like your but, move. But I definitely is, show. I probably. I mean, here's I've how definitely I think seen your piece. Yeah. Wait, it's, it's way better. So did you guys make out the first time, kind of hooked up, and then the next time you pulled your dick out? Because that's not Pro- as creepy. That's what I think. Way so. around. Give uh, it the up, first dude. time. Yeah. I think it was the other way. The first I, no, time I, you pulled your dick out and we didn't make out. That's aggressive. And and it's by the way, much. and then I drove you to your car, which was like two cars away. I love that as a story, and I love. <laughs> I'm it right here. And, and, and I and I and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it as a story because I mean, but I do believe I think my guess is knowing me <laughs> that as much of a dirtbag as I am, I think we probably hooked were up making for out for a second. Yeah, we did a thing. Yeah, and then I was while like, I was we, driving. Well, no, no, no. When when we were w- there was one night we kind of got together, and I go look at my dick. Jesus Christ. And then... Also, be, be remember, back then, Brian was probably married as well. He's been with his wife for a long time, so, you know, let's keep that in mind also. Not to be that guy, but, yeah. Probably. You were driving the car. Exactly. Big up young old vibes. Exactly. He was very, very married back then. This is him very, very married, just admitting to fucking finger-bashing Whitney Cummings outside of a comedy club somewhere and showing her his dick without invitation. Gotta love it. All right, and that night, you were over it, and I was probably like, I want to, maybe I can figure out a way to get a blowjob, which you've never done to me. But I was like, man, I probably, Hold I can imagine. Which you've never done to me, but I would love you to do it right now. And also, by the way, imagine this dynamic, how weird this is, right? Part of me thinks Brian wanted to fuck Whitney because Brendan was. If you can't fuck Brendan, the best way to fuck him is to fuck the girl that he's fucking. Because at this moment, at this time, Brendan and Whitney were like casually dating. That's the funny thing. Brendan and Whitney were casually dating. But I think Whitney didn't know that Brendan was getting into it with um, the, Joanna, the wife. As I've hypothesized before, he could have hooked up, but nah, he had to immediately take his piece out while she's driving. Unbelievable. Exactly. And the fact that they hooked up, uh, about Zaki, big, big up NJ, amazing point. The fact that they hooked up after meant that Whitney was at least interested in him a little bit. She didn't mind the attention from him. She was receptive to it. So he could have actually gotten to that stage eventually, but he was such a horn dog, such a creep monster, that he just pulled out a hammer straight away. Can you imagine, guys? Let me tell you this categorically. I've never done that in my entire life. Never. Even when I've been in the fucking in the fucking peak of horniness, when you're high and drunk and shit, I've never had the fucking urge to just whip out my hammer to somebody when it wasn't in like initiated like what a weird response because originally in the story i remember thinking it was like him in a car offers her a ride and then he gets horny no the story is even worse because she offers him a ride home she offers him a ride like does him a favor does him it makes him a favor hey i can take you back home i can drop you back home oh thank you whitney you're amazing you're a lifesaver thank you so much you jump in the car and then as, as she says as she's turning around to to reverse the car out of the parking spot she turns around and these hammers out i don't think i've ever escalated that quickly sometimes when you're with somebody you might escalate in terms of touching right but i don't think i've ever he- escalated like pulling out my piece do you understand what i mean like sometimes you make a move on somebody and you go to kiss them and they don't want to kiss you or you go to touch them and they don't want you to touch them that's one thing but i don't think i've pulled out my fucking penis like just hmm <laughs> <laughs> just like that is so, that is going from zero to a hundred sometimes you can say sometimes you can say words you can you can get too horny in a conversation and go from zero to a hundred right she mentioned something about being thirsty and you're like oh i know what i i, I know what can quench your thirst right i got a lolly that that you could get sucking on right or something like that right or i'm really hot i need a fucking ice cream or i've got a fucking ice cream i can give you right you can do that sort of talking thing but physicality wise, just imagine my friend, my guy friends in the fucking stream chat. Just imagine you're in a situation where you want to get with somebody and without any initiation from the girl, from the partner, whoever it is, you just pull out the hammer. That is such an aggressive move. That is so aggressive. That is just, I've never heard of that in my entire life. Exactly. Big up, uh, big up skin, skin it. That's going from zero to prison. Exactly. Like, what the fuck is that? Imagine that's that. probably when probably I'm like, no. here's my half hard yeah. dick. <laughs> you know yourself better than I do. And then I you do. shut him down. And I then you guys I, just were like, I'll see you tomorrow. I think, well, I we've think. We've always been friends, so well, it wasn't when like con- that. But you, the great thing about you is yeah. that, and I don't know if it's to um, sort of manage if it doesn't work out, mm. but from what I remember <laughs> of like kind of hooking up with you is that you l- are really funny about it. Right. Like you're not gross about it. Right. Like. 
so he gets rejected, but then he makes it into a joke because he's done it a lot of times. He's got practice. That's why he's got practice creeping out girls. So he, you know, look at Brendan almost getting hard of the fort. What a strange, again, what a strange dynamic. In this particular time, Brendan's also date. Brendan is casually dating, hooking up with, and probably you know, having fun times with Whitney Cummings. They're loosely dating, casually dating. Whitney Cummings, I think later on admitted that she didn't know during that whole time they were casually hooking up, that Brendan was very quiet about this, but he was also dating Joanna, the wife, very seriously. That was actually his girlfriend. So technically, they both cheated on their partners with Whitney. <laughs> no wonder she deleted the episodes and they got cancelled. No wonder. They were both cheating. Like He was cheating on his soon-to-be wife with Whitney, and Brian was cheating on his soon-to-be ex-wife with Whitney. Whitney must have that. She must have that pow wow. Like some other comics. Well, I'm not going to be, yeah. Yeah, like you're making the person laugh. So it's not like if you get rejected, it's like, okay, haha, I'll just. Well, my, my definition on creepy is that if I'm. My definition on creepy. Brian describing what creepy means when he's been. My definition. I don't think I've ever in my entire life said the phrase or started a sentence with. My definition of creepy. If you have to say that, guess what? You're the creepy one. If you have to start a sentence with my definition of creepy is creepy. It's you. <laughs> it's you. My definition of creepy. I'm in you. You're going to know it. Front if you're in me, I'm going to know if it. I'm, if I'm in you yeah. or if I'm in you. I hope you. I would know it. In yeah, you or into you. My feeling is that I'm not going to mince words. I'm going to be like, I want you right now. Blah, blah. But it's when. The By the way, look at how Brendan keeps that slightly glance. I never noticed this at first. But look at how Brendan's slightly glancing over at, at Whitney. I think he's kind of getting turned on by this conversation. Look, he keeps like slightly glancing off at her. Or am I reading too much into it? Look at Brendan. He gives little glances over at her. Well, my, my definition not creepy is that if I'm into you, you're going to know it. Front if you're center. in me, I'm going to know if it. I'm, if I'm in you or <laughs> if looks I'm again. I hope you. I would know it. In you looks or again. Look, it looks again. But my feeling is that I'm Ooh, not going to Oh, Brendan I'm wants to fuck right after the pod. But it's when guys kind of pull this gentleman thing and then you look and yeah. he's a really nice guy and yeah. then you look and he's got his dick out yeah, you yeah. don't have oh, any bad intentions no yeah. you're a serial killer be honest about your creepy oh okay no that's not good defense i've said similar but that's not a good defense what i've said before is that i'd rather die on my sword than do the whole friend thing which i think brendan does and brian does that's what they're lying about they do that whole like fake friend thing where they pretend they want to be the friend of the girl and then when she fucking has a bit too much to drink suddenly the hammer's out suddenly oh, 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 you know what i mean that's what they do and I, I don't believe in it. i think that's scummy i think that's creepy and i think that's hor horrible i think if you're a dude you should just die on your sword so if you want what you want you ask in obviously a very um polite way if you get turned down, you take that turn down on the chin, you keep it moving. You know what I mean? You don't assault them. You don't say, oh, you're ugly anyway. But you die on your sword. You say what you mean, you mean what you say. But Brian is definitely the creepy one because he got offered a lift home from his friend Whitney in comedy. She gave, she did him a favor and said, yes, Brian, you don't have a car because you're a fucking weirdo. Even though you got money to buy one, you don't have one on purpose because you probably want to jump into cars of girls so that you can fuck them, right? It's probably another tactic as well. I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. I had gone and give you a, a lift home, and then when she jump, when as soon as they jump into the car, he pulls out his dick. Do you know how weird that is? Anyway, uncomfortable that is. If somebody's not into you and you just pull, like, they have no idea you have a boner and you have one. <laughs> no, so many questions. I got so many questions there. But anyway. That's not it. There's more creepiness, right? So Brian's talking crazy about fucking Diddy and saying Diddy's got a fucking, he's got previous. Let's look at the last creepy story about fucking Brian. The last thing that will make you think, hmm, maybe Brian isn't the best judge of character and maybe he has no business throwing stones in his glass house or judging or pointing fingers at others when he's done things that are probably comparable to what Diddy has been accused of. Maybe not the same, but slightly comparable. Have you, do you guys remember this story? Do you guys remember this fucking story? Let's play this clip because this one will might blow your mind. This is a fucking wild one. Let's get this on the screen. Do you guys remember this one from fucking Joe Rogan ages ago with Eric fucking Weinstein as a guest? Do you guys remember this one? 
of the best at that. He's so silly. Like most of his podcasts that he does, yeah. other than with me and him have pretty... Joe Rogan, by the way, is talking about Brian Callen. Joe Rogan at this time is talking about Brian Callen, his best friend. He doesn't refer to Brian Callen as his best friend anymore because of the rape allegations and shit. It's kind of fucked up. But this is Rogan talking about his best friend, Brian Callen cool podcast well, we've known each other forever we've been best friends since 1994 is that right yeah i mean guy is that guy is smart i love him so much that yeah. i broke up with this girl and uh brian <laughs> um she was she was calling me because she was horny and i was like look i have a new girlfriend but i have a friend who'll fuck you and he's just like me <laughs> and so this, i i what? sick brian on my ex-girlfriend and he fucked her one of the funniest conversations I ever had with an ex-girlfriend. She calls me up. She goes, your friend came inside me. And I went, what? She goes, yeah, your fucking friend came inside me. And I was like, well, did you tell him that you were on the pill? She goes, no. No, I'm not on the pill. And I was like, well, I don't know what to tell you. you know? What? What? So imagine Brian Callen sitting down on his podcast judging Diddy. Just imagine that for a second. Keep those stories in mind. When Brian Callen's sitting there pointing fingers at Diddy. People like this have a pattern. It's what they you, do. You can you can trace it back to a pattern. There's a uh, whole... the, the other thing too, uh, I'll be super clear on this. Anybody who like is a bully to like smaller dudes or smaller kids at school or people that hit women. Smaller YouTubers? The biggest bitches on the... How about smaller YouTubers? What about people that sue smaller YouTubers for exposing the fact that they may or may have not cheated on their wife on camera? Does that count? The hypocrisy. Plant. They're yes. the least toughest people you Correct. know. Correct. They are by far, A, yeah, they exactly. always what about they can't D? fight. No. They're, they're so insecure. The reason why they're bullying or they're hitting women is because they, they have these insecurities and they know they can't get away with it with real dudes. Of course. Like, imagine if Diddy tried that with me, with anybody. You, you, they you, beat the shit out of him yeah. in a towel. I'd rip his towel off. Yes. He's, he's, I'd beat uh, the fuck out of him. So anybody you know who hits women across the board are the softest people in society. You don't want to go to bat for them. You yeah. don't. You sure as fuck don't want them in your foxhole. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Am I mistaken here? Or wasn't, didn't, Brian, wasn't Brendan a, a fan of like Greg Hardy? Do you guys remember that? When Greg Hardy was in the UFC, he kind of played the role of like, oh, trying to act like he was annoyed by it. Then later on, didn't he like like Greg Hardy? What are you talking about? No. If you had a fight at a bar, they're the la they'd probably run away. He's a bitch. They're the biggest bitches on the planet. But he's also... And this is This facts. is just a bad guy who has, again, like, look. Beating women is bad. Raping them is okay. And being a pedophile is... You know, you could turn a blind eye to it. Cool. Crystalia, Brian Callen, okay. D did bad. Cool. It's like when you see Harvey Weinstein. If you did business with Harvey Weinstein back in the day, and I had friends, he he, he was a known liar scumbag. It's it's not when you when you are this way when you do that when you watch that you're capable of everything, in my opinion. But like my that, whole thing is that I see that that's a public place. What do you think he's doing at his correct. house? And exactly. and this is to other people what, four too. years ago, four years ago, 2016. Yeah, so eight years ago. So I mean, so you think this is a, a single incident? This is a this public shit. fucking hotel. He knew it was on camera. Yeah. Here's here was my question. I put this on social media. Like few questions. How much did he pay for the tape? They told 150, me uh, 50, 50 k. They say one hundred and fifty k. I think just fifty k. Just okay, fifty. Yeah. Okay. So he paid fifty k. But isn't the hotel liable at some, because this is against the law, instead of reporting it. Law, law, law. They sold the video for 50K. It now sounds like one of the- It's also interesting, they're out of business now. The hotel is? Yeah. It Century sounds City. like one of the security guys who had control of the tape. Who were It's pretty obvious what happened. How are they fucking stupid? Did he obviously lowball the security guards? He probably paid them 20 grand or something, 50 grand. Not enough for that kind of level of a video. That in 2016, when Diddy was at his pomp a little bit, right? He was very well known. Um, Cassie, him and Cassie was a star fucking partnership. Like, if you would have released that video back then, you would have destroyed his career, right? Destroyed it, especially back then. Um, peak fucking Sorok. That was a fucking 
very valuable piece of information or content that he should have paid them more for. He paid them fucking 50k, not enough. So obviously now that money's finished and gone and he's getting cancelled now, if you're the security guard, of course you'd leak it. Why the fuck not? You've got your money. It's years gone by now. He's already in mad legal trouble. Fuck it. Put it out and bury more. But I want to believe the story this way. I want to believe this narrative. I want to believe the narrative that Cassie stayed longer than she should have, endured all that abuse from Diddy, quietly went away, moved on, got herself a new relationship, started a family, got married, and then quietly sued him, got the settlement out of court in twenty less than 24 hours, which some people are saying is anywhere between 20 to 50 million, and then signed the NDA, cashed her fucking checks, lived happy. Then she saw Diddy come out and put that cryptic fucking Instagram post about, oh, time to tell the truth or the time hell's truth or something. Saw Diddy's son put that shitty diss track out where he was fucking letting his nuts hang and thought, okay, you guys think the coast is clear. Then she leaked the tape herself through somebody else. I want to believe that to be the case, that Cassie has fucked him over 17 times around the process and still got the bag. But most likely, the most likely explanation, Diddy didn't pay the security guards enough for them to shut up forever. The money ran out. Now he's being fucking recanceled or canceled, you know, um, in a big way nowadays. And it's an opportune time to put it out again. So that's basically it. It's not that hard to understand. To the hotel, though. Yes. But still, oh, he's sure. Still, he's, Every, everybody's lying. The, the, the hotel. Oh, really? Okay. Young of Vibes says the feds. So I guess I, I, I think somebody else said that as well. So I think the other the other theory is what Young Old Vibe says is most likely the feds got that footage when they raided his house that time. Possible, possible. Put more pressure on him, get him maybe to agree to a plea deal or something. I don't know. Or pressure him into doing something dumb. Yeah, maybe that's possible. Maybe, maybe. Still liable, aren't that's they? a crime. That's a violent Because if someone crime. was murdered, let's say he murdered her, right? Let's say he murdered her on that tape and then he sold murdered the video. Her. It... They're still responsible for covering up a crime, right? Well, no, but that's not the same thing, though, isn't it? If basically, go back to everything. If my mom was a had wheels, she'd be a bike. That's obviously not what we're talking about. She didn't get murdered. The video is of an assault. Like, let's relax. This is no deal. That happened in 2016. Let's relax. 100. percent I think that's that is a violent crime, and that was a cover up. That's I don't know what the I don't know what the legal jurisdiction there is, but certainly obstruction of justice and things like that. But. Um, I put my tinfoil hat on and tell you why it was cover up. Why? Oh, well, he's close with the, the Obamas and Hillary Clintons and like that stuff. He helps him influence. I don't think they would, would have touched that. I think what he did is he, he had his people. There are a couple of things that are really interesting about this that I've, I've been following. He had um, obviously a lot of money and fixers. Because a guy like this who's a bad guy oh, for sure. has fixers. Tons of so fixers. they go and they say. Like you, like Rogan, right? You have a fixer. Rogan, your dad. That's a good what is it going to cost for this tape? He was drunk and all that. They was just a lover spat. They do this all the time. It's all good. She's good with it. She's, you know, blah, blah, blah. So here's $50,000 cash, whatever it is. But there is a lot of evidence, according to um, some of these. I think one of the reasons they took a battering ram is that he had someone on the LAPD or some ones on the LAPD Correct. on his payroll. Yes. LAPD. And, and this 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 shooting outside that recording studio yep. apparently happened in the bathroom, and there are pictures yep. from one of his producers. Yeah, and it was uh, it was. Uh, it's funny how they've read everything about this case, and especially Callan. It's funny. It's usually when somebody gets arrested the same crime. You know, it's funny how it's funny how uh, clued in he is about it. It's funny. Diddy and his son were apparently were in that bathroom with the guy. He heard heated exchange and he heard three gunshots. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Crypto, cryptonic TV. That has to be a blessing in itself, isn't it? That has to be like she's probably like a very sweet girl, Cassie. I'd assume, because that has to be a blessing. You suffer through Diddy, and then the next guy you end up dating is some dude who's like a male model, but also seems to be incredibly devoted to her. You have an amazing family. And he holds you down in public because he's that's the thing that i realized after the video came out i was like oh this is why this guy's been on smoke if you remember that guy's been trashing diddy in on his instagram from day dot he's always been on he's always been on aggressive very aggressive time whenever i think there was one time early, ages ago before the lawsuit happened i'm sure some of you guys would know where diddy was i think he left a heart emoji underneath one cassie's picture or something it was a while back, many, many, maybe a couple of years ago, maybe a few years ago. And he he must have replied back with a paragraph of like, if I see you, it's fucking up. He was on 
action time. So he most likely knew all this shit. That's why he was so aggressive. It makes sense now why he was like, motherfucker, don't you dare send my fucking wife heart, heart fucking eyes, you fucking piece of shit. You know what I mean? I know who you are. I know who the real you is. Like, oh, <laughs> yo, man. But yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. He's a, he's a wellness. Yeah, exactly. Like she, she, that's an amazing bounce back. That's an amazing, sorry, rebound, bounce back, rebound. What an amazing rebound, bro. What an amazing rebound. And like I said, I think this is a better outcome for Cassie. I'm not sure about you guys, but I don't know how to judge her as a woman. But I think considering how long ago the crime was, it's hard to prosecute sexual assault crimes anyway and rapes and shit. So somebody like a Diddy, the thing that he holds most sacred is probably his reputation and his wealth. So if you can damage that to, to kill two birds with one stone, run his pockets and also destroy his fucking reputation. That's a fucking win. You know what I mean? Obviously, you suffered greatly and it's awful, but that's a fucking win, bro. You know what I mean? That is a big win. They're talking about taking away his fucking key to the city in New York. Fucking hell. Remember, he did a big video about that. He did a video where he was like, you know, I think it's because again, I'm a big Diddy. I, I'm a big Diddy. I was a big Diddy fan as like an entrepreneur. But I remember he did some big video where he was like in a car with a key driving around the city and shit. So that's a big deal if that gets taken away from him. You know what I mean? But I, but I still believe. The Diddy Redemption arc is coming. I still believe he's going to do a grift. He's going to do the black grift and he's going to go Christian. He's going to become like a pastor. That's what I believe. He's going to do like the whole thing. He'll probably get baptized. He would have a public baptize. You have a baptize, like a baptism that will be filmed. He'll have a new name. He'll call himself, I don't know, Jeremiah, Solomon, Moses. Like, I bet you. I, I have a theory that's, that's happening. I have a theory. When you see this again, when you see that kind of stuff, you you believe I believe everything. That, yeah, this that, is just that tip of the iceberg. He's a bad guy. Yeah, he's he's always. It's been just a, a bad matter of time for more stuff comes out. I would assume, and let, who knows, could be some weird shit going on. But who you're knows talking about a comes true out. narcissist. You're talking about like a, a narcissist talking about narcissist. Look at these two guys judging another narcissist. You guys should be holding him down. You're both the same. You know, th he just thinks he's the center of the world. He's the king, and he can do anything he wants. And guess what? You get caught. Play his Thank apology God. video. Now, I think the only reason he got caught is because they raided his house. And to still have this tape is wild, right? Why you went to <laughs> show this? Why? Yeah. No, no, no. I thought this tape. Oh. No, he's the only one who owns it. So they raided his house. This is one thing so that how, came out. No, it's not true. We don't know that to be true, Brendan. Just say theories. Why, do you have to, why does he have to be so certain about everything? He's going to put out a copy like, we don't know nothing. We're just going by what we see on the internet. The one theory is they got it from the raid one theory is a security guard might have leaked it one theory is someone from cassie teams leaked it just say if it, like why you have to be so certain about everything like like he's got inside scoops and shit it's like so annoying leaked it the cops we're, we're not sure they i don't think they tell us who leaked it but they got it from Raiden wasn't house. this maybe wasn't this given to tmz from from this one of the security guards who held on to it for a long time I think that I don't think so cuz cuz you wouldn't pay 50 grand and say you can keep a copy. You yeah, take the original I don't see copy. how the cops would have done this. But then that's the thing you stupid idiot. Even if you paid 50 grand for the footage from the fucking security guard, how would he know the security guard didn't make a copy of it? It's not that hard to take make a copy of those clips, especially if they're usually done they usually record them onto a fucking DVD player or onto a USB stick anyway. You can easily clip them and send it to yourself. So it's not that hard for somebody to just keep a copy for themselves you would never know they kept it anyway how do you know you just have to get take their word for it like it's not that hard wow can you imagine what she went through that's one example one example and he blew up kid cuddy's car f allegedly for allegedly. dating um now he's got people that were willing to do some crazy shit that's scary fucking scary when you yeah, dude, like the that. game came out. He was on doing this interview. He's saying how they had a hit out on Drake. He's like, uh, did he want uh, Drake gone? Jesus. Yeah. Some weird shit. Like, again, I believe everything now. Yeah, now after you've seen that, play his apology video. It's so... That's the thing with Brian, though. Now that I've heard Whitney Cummings say what she said, now that I've heard Joe said you come to his ex-girlfriend's without her permission, and now I've seen stories of you being... A, I mean, that's a, that's a problem with having a you know a pattern so he's saying that diddy's got a pattern you believe everything we believe everything with you too because you've done some not so nice things
Oh, well, about his acting and get him to the Greek was so much better. <laughs> this is so cringy. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. He said he has a said, rock bottom. You gotta do that. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. But I made no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. Well, I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. <laughs> Gotta go in the professional help. Please help me to stop hitting my beautiful, talented girlfriend, and please help me from stop blowing up her you know potential partners when she moved on to like what what kind of help do you get for that sort of shit you're just a piece of shit <laughs> therapy i'm going to rehab had to ask god for his mercy and grace you're not getting it bud i'm so sorry his eyes are i'm committed to be a better man each and every day bullshit i'm not asking for forgiveness truly sorry you went to rehab i'd like to see the receipts oh uh, well um can you just post what he posted before that the the statement he posted oh saying he denies all yeah, of let's it just post that let me just take a look at that is it on this article Hold on. um so now the the, the lawsuit settled but uh, you know what's crazy too like the the statute of limitations three that years. was 2016 that's so crazy but statute of limitations in la for that is three years that's insane mm -hmm. that is insane welcome to la yeah um there was a thing where he says yeah enough is enough so let's just so let's just see this so enough is enough for the last couple of weeks i have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character destroy my reputation my legacy sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday mm. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of these awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Mm -hmm. Let's let's get the Brian Callen statement when you after after rape. Brian Callen uh, statement, rape allegation. Remember that one? Let's see that one. Let's see someone's got that one. There, see it. There we go. Let me be very clear. Wh whose apology was better? <laughs> did he? Uh, whose apology was better? Who had a better fucking apology? Who had a better fucking apology, eh? Which one is it? Where is it? That's the one there, right? Whose apology was better? Let's see. Who had a better fucking apology? Did he? Or fucking Brian Callan? Who had a better fucking apology? Do we have one here? Yeah, there we go. That's the one I remember too. I remember this one. This is the one I remember. Chrissy Teigen commented that, oh my God, Chrissy Teigen. Damn, son. Chrissy Teigen. I didn't know commented on it. So Brian Callen's response when he got accused of rape. Let me be very clear. They, they, start, with the same, they start with the same line, isn't it? I guess that's the that's the fucking creepy guy um line. Let me be absolutely clear. Brian Callen, let me be very clear. I have never raped, forced myself on any woman, nor offered to trade stage time for sex ever. The horrific false allegations originated in today's LA Times will be addressed in detail in the special Saturday night edition of my podcast T5K tomorrow. That didn't happen, by the way. Brendan or the sponsors pulled the plug on that one. And then he had to go into hiding and not be on T5K, which then is why Brendan hired Malik B and Chappelle Lacey to do the show and they rebranded the T5K, the kids, for a short period of time. I will not allow the counterculture to subvert what I know as, importantly, what these women know is the truth. Brian was really aggressive in the apology. He mentioned cancer culture. Wow. Chrissy Teigen, where else would we get an honest, unbiased opinion than your own podcast? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I forgot that fucking Chrissy Teigen flamed Brian Callen during this thing. I completely forgot. Fucking hell. 
Jesus Christ. What's this Amy Schumer? Did Brian have beef with Amy Schumer? Comedian denies Amy Schumer sends support. What? And that allegedly is a woman that Brian Callen allegedly graped. Catherine Fiore Tigerman. They, they used to date, actually. They were actually boyfriend and girlfriend at one point. Do you know um Brian used to... Who's that hot woman? The really lovely, really pretty, amazing eyes singer. What's her name? That Brian was dating back in the day. His ex-girlfriend. What's her fucking name, man? Um, Indie singer. Kind of folky. What's her fucking name? Really lovely eyes. Green eyes. Oh. What should I fucking remember? Do you guys remember who I'm talking about? That's it, Fiona Apple. That's the one. Big up Keith T. Fiona Apple, yeah. Brian dated Fiona Apple, you know. Could you imagine that? Brian dated Fiona fucking Apple. She still looks incredible now, by the way. She looks really good now. Uh, that except for that part. That was posted in December. Egg. Oh, it was. But still. Okay. But still. Yeah. But well, that Cassidy also, they settled yeah. around that time, I too. You. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just a bad. This dude. is where you know your your um what is it your um reputation your your celebrity <clears throat> your brand is more important than who you really are your truth, and you pay a price for it. My favorite, my here, favorite. Here, but here's my question: what? what price is he gonna? Let's just talk. What price? So already a billionaire, mind you. What price is he gonna pay? A couple things. Go ahead. I love how in Brendan's brain, as long as you have money, nothing matters. There's no such thing as reputational damage. There's no such thing as like shame. Nothing. As long as you have money, you're basically inoculated from all negative things happening to you. It's perfectly fine. Nothing happens to you. You don't suffer a loss of reputation. Your friends don't look at you differently. It doesn't affect your family negatively. Nah, it's all good. Because aren't these kids getting absolutely abused online too? Even Diddy's baby mothers are getting abused. Even Diddy's former partners and collaborators are being questioned. Why didn't you speak up? That everyone's fucking suffering because of Diddy's awful behavior. So I love that in Brendan's mind, because he's a billionaire, he's fine. It's like, um, that's not how it works, sir. One is, I, I think for a guy like this, <clears throat> being the man, being welcomed into society, restaurants, clubs, celebrated, I think that all goes away. That goes away, yeah. And... <clears throat> Every time he's on the street, anytime, he's always, always. Oh, Brian's talking from personal experience. Look how he's rubbing his legs. Brian's talking from personal experience. The dinners, the invitations, they go away. Brian's talking from personal experience. No one's inviting him to Carbone anymore. No one's inviting him to Delilah's. Head to Delilah with all of my ice. Head to Delilah with all of my ice. Honestly, family matters are so fucking hard. Expecting somebody to be like, scumbag, you scumbag, which they will. Yeah. Um, number two, any future, any future uh, collaboration, endeavor, any anything? future uh, business venture is dead, gone. So he's got a nice hole to live in. He's got a nice hole. He's got his, he's, he'll, he'll be surrounded by the people that are closest to him, yep. like his family. But he's done in terms of polite society in time. And a guy like that, What's more Wants important that. is he's he's willing to defend his brand and You know what's funny, young old vibes. You say that as a joke, young old vibes. Brian will be fine if you just move to Spain with his people. You know what's actually funny? If he actually cared about look at that screenshot by the way. I've got I've got screen I've got screen grab that. I have to screen grab that. I have to screen fucking grab that. You say that as a joke, but if Brian actually cared about acting if he cared about actually being an actor with a capital A, he cared about doing broad or being on a stage and being in plays, actually moving abroad is actually a good idea. Because there's, you know, European markets don't really give a fuck about what people do in Europe, in, in the States in terms of egregious things. He could actually go to Europe and have a pretty decent career being a, you know, a, a TV actor or starring in like regional movies and shit. So that's a funny thing. If they actually cared about, I just want to express myself through the medium of acting, you could go other places and do it, but they only want to do it in Hollywood. They don't really care about the craft of it. They just care about the fame part of it, you know? Because Brendan's the same thing. If Brendan really wanted to have a stand-up career, he could still do stand-up, just to smaller crowds, maybe less time per year, but he could still do them to an audience of people that like him from T5K. 
But because he doesn't get booked to play big theatres, because he's not doing MSG like Schultzy, it's not worth it. So it's only the money aspects. That's the funny thing about these guys. That status and his celebrity over anything else. Yeah. And it's all over. The party's over at 54. The other thing I think he's got to worry about is this is an ongoing investigation. Oh, yeah. The big and stuff's still coming up. The big stuff, the criminal stuff is yeah. what's coming up. Yep. And if they've got access to all this stuff, you don't got, now we know why certain people we even know who are, who are in law enforcement were told to drop, drop everything and, and turn yes. their, you know, it, yeah, they're not going to raid both ho homes just for the no, fuck. No, it. the feds, the feds don't waste their time. And in my opinion, where there was smoke, there's gotta be a lot of fire and they got some fire. So, um, I think what he's worried about is, uh, not just lawsuits, but jail, jail. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But 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 also know this that you know he might be worth a lot of money on paper, but I don't know how much of that is in tied up in assets. I don't know how much is in True. cash. And not only that, stop counting his pockets, man. He's fine. You count your dad's pockets. He's also got that 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 sword hanging over your head. That the countless charges, the case that people are building. That's not gonna be cheap. No, and the feds are building that, so you don't even know what they've got. Yeah. You know what they got, but you don't know what they got. Yeah, but and that could take four years yes. in legal battle, oh. which is going to be millions and not, millions and millions, especially the lawyers he's going to hire. It's it's at least five years of of, uh, of of no sleep. Yeah. No, he's kicked out of, like, the cool kids club. You're Forever. Right. Yeah. Now, I think behind the scenes in hip-hop, could he still work, probably? Uh, as a producer or something? Mm -hmm. And not have his name on it, but be involved in it. Yeah. If they want him there, you know, I don't. They, here's the other thing about P. Diddy, actually, that 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 people will tell you that I know, because I know people who work with him. That's why I told you, like Hype Williams. Did I ever tell you the story? Yeah. So you know, it wasn't that he was this rap genius. No. Like Brian Callen knows Hype Williams allegedly. Can you imagine that? Brian Callen knowing Hi Hype Williams. How can hilarious. Jay Z's a, like you know he knows his rap. He was more of this hype man. He was more like this branding guy, but didn't he wasn't needed in the he's recording more of a business studio, man. right? Yeah, he was he wasn't good with deals. Like, I don't need you to tell me what's good and what's not. His raps are terrible, right? Yeah. That that's the other thing. So when someone says his raps are terrible, his raps, ugh, you probably your your yo, the way you say that is terrible. His raps, his raps are terrible. <laughs> uh, that my favorite expression, God's. Uh, God's fire will feel like hell <laughs> if you haven't been living right. So, Ooh, yeah, probably... that comes from personal experience. See that little, see that little squirm that Brent Brian did. Will feel like hell <laughs> if you haven't been living right. <laughs> That's a guilty look. You felt the wrath of God, haven't you? You felt the wrath, the fucking flames of fucking, you know, the flames of Babylon. <laughs> you fucking full out felt it. You felt those judgment day stares, and it look at that was uncomfortable for him. We got Brian, so yeah, he's probably feeling his it. whole facade is burning. He, everything's on fire right now, and uh, that's what happens when you try to. Get yeah, my only thing. Yeah, I agree. He's kicked out of the cool kids club. Probably can't get that reservation at his restaurant anymore. The clubs, nah, they're shady. They, they take you know, Aaron Hernandez is in clubs, but I think. Uh, he's will he still, will, will he still year, get girls? Yes. Five years. He'll still, he'll still get women. Sure. Yeah, still get girls. He'll still live in the mansion. But you got to remember, like him going to South of France where he's the man. Like, I think a lot of that is nobody if, wants. If he goes to Ibiza, nobody cares. If he goes to Ibiza, Ibiza and does what he used to do back in the day and turns up over there, because I've heard some stories about him in Ibiza, no one will care. Guarantee you. If he goes to Ibiza, it's all good want you at their table nobody wants you in their club it's just it's too much pressure it's like that guy no that that's what oj said was the worst thing besides i was gonna say OJ, was too. oj was saying how he's like i was found innocent and then i show up he's in brentwood he goes show up to my favorite restaurant I'm like what are you doing here he's like what do you mean i was innocent I'm like dude get the fuck out of here he's like no my friends talk to me anymore couldn't go to the restaurant so that's why i moved i mean chris brown had a comeback though didn't he a little chris bit different. different a little different different yeah I Different. Think might be... You could give Rihanna ten nine round in that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know the story. I know he hilarious, by the way, hilarious. He bitter and stuff like that. And he beat her. 
he beat her punched her a few times but, like, but, you know. but apparently she put up a fight too like yeah. rihanna's no punk yeah he gave what was it that she he gave? was off what, what does that even mean so if a woman lets if a woman gets beaten up by her physically abusive husband and doesn't fight back then is she a punk then what the fuck does that even mean domestic violence isn't about like women standing up for and going fucking blow for blow round for round with their abusers it's about the abuse being wrong in the first place because guys inherently are stronger than fucking girls and obviously aren't you meant to love the person also don't do that to people that you allegedly love brendan she, yeah she put up a fight she's a badass that's why i buy fenty it's like huh yeah amber heard did but yeah amber heard went to spain to be fair i think amber heard already could speak spanish i think she, i don't know why but i think she already had a bit of experience or knowledge of, of spain so it made sense to go there and like i said before like the european market is different completely different from what you guys have over there no one really gives a fuck same thing with you guys if somebody has like a dicey past in europe you guys aren't really going to care too much if they go to the states and become big you won't really think about it too much so i think we have the same thing here so um that's why i'm surprised actually kevin spacey hasn't moved over here but i think he actually loves hollywood and he obviously thinks he's innocent so why would you run away and go somewhere else when you could fight for your, you know what I mean? But I think he's just too, he's bad for fucking business. Even if he is innocent, all the negative press is probably too much. But I'm surprised Kevin Spacey hasn't moved here, especially to the UK. He'd be, he'd be, oh, actually, I, that's why he hasn't moved here. I know why. Wasn't one of the accusers in Kevin Spacey's case from the UK. I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was a UK person that accused him. So that's probably why he hasn't moved here. That probably explains why. So what, 18? Oh, I don't know about that, but you're know, right. Either. Yeah, so he was younger, so. right? He had more time to. He, he was a lot young. Let's see, none of it is acceptable, right? And it, but it also has fucked Chris Brown over too. Yeah, it has. Like but he, it, was, it was also hearsay. He's right? so no. No, in other words, there wasn't video. Of there wasn't right? video. That, pictures. That, that's There's pictures. Of, like her pictures were bad. Uh, the word is it was like you know. The, the video would have been worse if we got video of Chris Brown and Rihanna in a fucking tight Lamborghini and Chris Brown weighing into her elbows and close fist that would have you know it the pictures already of of rihanna were very um damaging to his career but if we actually got a video of it it would have been wild but i think ultimately a lot of the reason why chris brown never really got completely cancelled for that i think personally is because rihanna forgave him that's the main thing rihanna rihanna probably has moved on from it more than fans have and people online she seems to not give a fuck they seem to be on good terms if anything um, which probably explains, which probably is a probably because they were young and she probably understands why it happened. Maybe she was physically sort of violent to him too, whatever. Doesn't excuse it, but I think that's the main reason why Chris was able to kind of bounce back. And obviously, his talent as well, by the way. Talent also matters. I think if you're as talented as Chris Brown, you can get away with more because people love your music. Um, even though he's had a history of some dicey things with girls, you know, Rihanna wasn't the only one he kind of punched up. You know, if you do your science, but I think that's the main thing. Rihanna also forgave him. Um, you know, that that really does help. I think. You know, it could have been either buddy's round. Like oh, she, okay. apparently they were going at it, but of course he's a complete piece of shit for that. Oh yeah, big up Coyla, exactly. Oh, I don't know, big up Coyla, that's sick. I worked on House of Cards. They would never have him back. He's a liability, like exactly. I think that's the one thing I have to give. I'm not sure if this sounds right, right? But I think sometimes. I think Hollywood doesn't really have any principles or morals. It's all about the fucking mighty dollar. But one thing I like about Hollywood and one thing I like about professional sports in the United States, if you're a liability, if you're going to be a distraction, they just won't deal with you. That's the main thing I think about Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick thing was always, oh, he's, he's too much of a fucking civil rights activist. Um, the NFL is racist, all this malarkey. I don't think that was the case. I honestly think the NFL owners just didn't want to put up with the constant conversation and debates and fucking you know whatever whenever he will play for a team and nil no one wants that so even though he's more than able to be a bench player to be a squad member they just don't want to deal with it across the board i love that thing but then in hollywood i love that behind the scenes the kind of what they call them is it crew hands whatever they're called the people who basically are the foundation of hollywood the ones that if they don't exist hollywood kind of crumbles they kind of run hollywood in a way if you piss off a makeup person if you piss off a tech a runner somebody like just somebody on the set that kind of thing spreads that wildfire like oh you got a bad reputation of being a cunt and people won't forget it 
and then when you get cancelled you're done you know i like that i like that i kind of like that kind of side of like you know and obviously the the, the networks and platform and production companies themselves don't want to lose money so they're not going to hire you but i like that the cunts of the industry inevitably get found out and when the door shuts it shuts exactly there we go big up coiler there we go unions teamsters crew yeah exactly 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 i love that side of things like they kind of slightly run hollywood they don't slightly they do have a grip on it but because when they go on strike that whole thing fucking shuts and shudders i love that that happens because then it forces cunts to be you know at least not super cunty on set because if you do it's gonna fuck you over in the long term which probably is the reason why people say that whole you know treat people on the way up as you treat them on treat the same people on the way up because you'll meet them probably on the way down that's probably really really important so yeah big up all the all the fucking union teamsters and crew people and that because they they're, they're the ones that actually keep people well behaved <laughs> uh, but then he suffered from you're talking about like once in a generational talent yeah. and now like his stuff he just that not too many people work with him still like he's still suffering from it so come back yeah he's allowed to make music but different than Diddy, like, and th for Diddy, it's like, remember, we've heard way worse stuff. Than I was going to say, wasn't and, Chris Brown a one-off, whereas Diddy was... No, 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 Chris Brown has slappers. Oh, you're saying as far as hitting women? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, I, thought, so, I thought you were saying he was like a one-hit one. Yeah, so Come this, on, this dude, was like, slaps. yeah, yeah, no, this was, I remember the, the, if you look it up, I remember it was like... Literally slap. They were saying that, like, they were lovers, and then, yeah. We get it, Brendan. We get that. We get it. We get it. We know. We get it. We get it. We got the joke before you got it. He did that stuff, and and but it was a one-off. He was young, and we haven't heard of Chris Brown like killing people, right? Sex trafficking, right. Yeah. hitting right. women. He did. He's guns. had this story. People like, and then you got <laughs> big up NJ Range. <laughs> but I don't know. Bill Burr told me he Chris are creepy. Oh, fucking Bill Ma. Fucking hell, what a fucking knobhead, isn't it? What a knobhead. The other thing about this is like Chris Brown did it, and people came to his defense. Mm. There was, or they were quiet about it. When when this shit came out with uh, when this came out yeah let's see this when this shit came out with P Diddy who went bad on him fucking Fifty Cent uh, everybody everybody worked with him they're like I've been trying to tell you guys uh, well, a lot of people didn't go bad on Diddy because they were scared of him mm -hmm. he was that powerful so a lot of people he and that's why Fifty Cent he was like where are y'all at right. like, I thought he was this terrible guy you guys have the receipts but no one wants to say shit because you're worried. But once he gets booked, then you, people start coming out because they're worried about the backlash. Right. Because he still has so much influence. You know, this was also 2009, different time, wasn't it? You know? Yeah, he, he's taking some he hits. He's not a sure. visa over. I mean, he'll never live it down. Like, he still gets booed yeah. at certain things. Really? Oh, yeah. I mean, you can't yeah. hit women, dude. We just can't have it. No. He still gets booed at certain things. No, he doesn't. <laughs>